you can copy all of the information off of one hard drive to another using Linux very easily with the dd command. So I've got a uh, Ubuntu system here with two flash drives connected and the goal is going to be to copy all the information from one drive to the other. Now I know these are flash drives and very easily you could just double click on the drives and select the information and do a copy paste or something like that but we're going to simulate, this is a test to simulate how you would do it if you were going to copy let's say a hundred gigabyte or 150 gigabyte hard drive to another let's say 250 gigabyte hard drive and you want to copy all of the information from your one system to the other system. A couple of commands that we can look at to get started right off the bat is we've got to figure out which drives we're, we're working with. So a good command to do that is the df I'm going to put a dash h in here for human readable format and that will tell you all of your um, free space. This is the disk free command df that will show you what use space you have on your drives and you can see here that forward slash dev forward slash sda1 that's my main hard drive the size is 12 gigabytes I'm using a virtual box version of Ubuntu here um, so that it makes it easy to record this video so I've got a 12 gig hard that's my main hard drive and then if you go down here you can see sdb and sdc and these are my flash drives now I've already successfully copied from one drive to the other so they're both showing the exact same amount of 450 megabytes of used and 478 megabytes size so I've already um, copied it successfully in a previous video I'm going back and reviewing the information here okay so the df command very good to take a look at your drives and see what it is that's mounted on your system right and I've got my main hard drive I've got this uh, virtual box additions showing up on my desktop you can see it here as showing as a CD-ROM it was a, a download that's uh, been mounted obviously probably an ISO file or something like that uh, image file and then my two USB hard drives okay another useful command I installed it earlier was um, smart CTL smart control and you need to give it a um, you need to give it a, the proper switches so let's see how did I do that well it was smart CTL and then dash dash all space forward slash dev forward slash SDA and by doing that I got a permission denied I need to do a sudo command on the front and I get information about my hard drive now I had a hard time using this tool the smart control tool smart CTL to see my USB flash drives it just was kinda hard it, I uh, wasn't able to put in the correct switches and arguments to get the, those drives to show up. If you wanted to install Smart CTL, um, you can do a sudo apt get install. I think it was Smart Mon Tools. Smart Mon Tools for smart, smart monitoring tools. I also did an install of gparted to show you that so we'll take a look at that there's some other tools you can look at to look at your hard drives before you decide you're going to copy all the information from one drive to the other so I'll go to system here administration and the first utility is very helpful disk utility and the disk utility will show you all your drives here on the left you've got your um, there's my 13 gigabyte hard drive it shows up as a SATA host adapter here so SATA hard drive I've got CD-ROM here and then here's my two flash drives right here and then tons of information about the drives and the volumes on the drives right here on the right hand side and once again I'm using virtual I'm doing this in virtual box to make the recording of this video easy so I, I got pretty good information there about the drives the main thing is if you have one drive that's full right with information and another drive that's empty you want to know which one is which in my case SDB was the one that was the full drive and SDC right here was the one that was the empty drive and I wanted to copy from one to the other and 
that was successful. Um, you'll be seeing that in a second. All right, and then another tool that you can use to look at your drives is gparted. And just run that really quickly, put in my password, and you'll see that gparted shows my partitions here. There's SDA. You can see my ext4 partition here, swap partition. So it shows all the partitions and it has a grass, graphical version showing the size of the partitions. And then I can switch to SDB, which is my um, flash drive, and then SDC, my other flash drive. Okay, so now I want to call, I want to copy all of the information from one drive to the other. So I'm going to put in a dd command here and I'm, it's going to need an input file and then it's also going to need an output file. Okay, and so the input file will be forward slash dev sdb right, because I'm going to be copying from b to c right so there you have it and then the output file I'll just go over here will be root folder dev directory forward slash SDC and that's it all it takes is one line of um, one simple line on the bash prompt to copy from one all the information from one drive to the other now in this case I'm doing it from a flash drive to a flash drive but I, if I had another hard drive on my system I could copy all of let's say SDA and I wouldn't want to copy just the um, partition, so I wouldn't copy just SDA1. I would copy probably like all of SDA to another hard drive. So it would be like all of SDA to all of SDC or something like that. So let's see if this will work. So I'll hit enter. And permission is denied because I don't have root permission. Or So I'll put in a sudo in front. Pretty much knew that was going to happen. And hit enter and you're not going to get any response at all you're just going to see a blinking um, prompt and fear not if you see just a blinking prompt that means the copying is happening from the one drive to the next and at the end you'll see a result a little result information so you don't want to shut down your system at this point uh, this means it's working and that everything is good okay the dd command finished you can see here the sudo dd command input file and output file from one flash drive to the next, one USB flash drive to the next. And we did that as a test to simulate copying all of the information from one drive to another drive. This would be much more useful if I was copying all of the information from one hard drive to another hard drive. The great thing about the dd command is it copies the entire drive, all of the information on the drive from one drive to the next. The key is making sure that you know which drive it is that you're copying from, what your input file is going to be, and also what your output file, where that drive is going to be. And you can see, example, I've highlighted the command here. At the end, it shows records in, records out, and how much information was copied, and that means it was successful. So now that it was successful, I should be able to see the information here on the drives. If I was to double click on them, you see there's information in this drive and if I click on the other drive there should be information in there and there's not and there it is and you can see the information is on the drive so all I had to do was unmount it and then remount it I wanted to show you one more thing if you're going to copy from one drive to another another useful thing is if you don't have another drive or storage space to copy to when you're doing your dd command your input file your output file in this case i'm going to copy dd input file my flash drive on sdb forward slash dev forward slash sb uh, sdb to output file in my home directory my dan folder my name and to a file called thumbimage.img and so that way I could copy let's say all the information to an image file and I'll give that a shot and once again I hit enter and I'm not getting any immediate response because the copying is happening but it is probably working so that's another way that you could actually copy from your input file you know your hard drive or whatever to an image file directly okay looks like the dd command worked I copied my flash drive 
using the dd command input file of my flash drive which is you know basically a disk drive to an output file of an image file not to another drive i got records in records out the amount copied and now i could just go and look i did it to my home directory my folder so i'll just go to places home folder and take a look and there is my image file right there so looks like it worked I right click on it and go to properties and I can see that it's the right size it's, uh, right size so um, it looks like it worked and to really know for sure I'd want to copy this image file as the input file to a drive to a flash drive and see you know does it work so that's the next thing I might do